Six months ago, I was about to invest $30,000 into a paid marketing initiative that would have completely failed. And the only reason I didn't was a five-minute conversation with ChatGPT that spotted the subtle flaws I was too emotionally attached to see. And in the past six months, I've noticed the top 1% all do this one thing differently with AI. They don't use AI for answers. They use it to find better questions. One friend, for example, used the exact method I'm going to show you in this video to realize he didn't have to spend $5,000 in development fees when he could vibe code his idea for less than $100 in 2025. But today I'm going to show you how to transform ChatGPT from a perpetual glazer who gives you generic advice into a strategic AI sparring partner that truly challenges your thinking. And this is what turns a $10,000 mistake into a $0 preventable mistake. It's the difference between spending and wasting months doing something that's not going to work versus knowing in five minutes what the biggest risks are. By the end of this video, you'll have a system to pressure test any idea in five minutes instead of months, and you'll walk away 10x smarter from the process. I'll show you the exact setup. First, we're going to get the right chat GPT plan. Then we're going to run two simple prompts in the same chat. The first one is to build your AI second brain, and the second one is to activate your AI sparring partner. And then the last step is we're going to save the work we've done here into a permanent chat GPT project. And I'll also show you how to build a custom GPT, which is another option. And the purpose of those last two steps, so you can save what we're doing, is your always available AI sparring partner. Real quick, if you don't know me, my name's Sabrina Romanov. I previously built and sold an AI startup for millions of dollars, and now I teach millions of people AI for free. Now let's dive in. And before we start, I'm going to talk about chat GPT pricing. So many of you are probably on the free plan, but for this tutorial, I highly recommend upgrading to the paid chat GPT plan, $20 per month or plus, because it has things like projects. Free version basically doesn't let you create projects and GPTs where you can save everything permanently. But to be really effective and productive and time efficient, you don't want to have to do what I'm going to show you every single time you open ChatGPT. So this is the $20 per month cheat code that will pay for itself in time savings. So go ahead and sign up for that, get plus, and then enter ChatGPT. So ChatGPT just rolled out a new version. 5.1. It's not a major, major upgrade from the previous version. The default setting is automatic, which means ChatGPT is going to decide whether it's going to use its thinking mode for longer, better answers, or whether it's going to use instant mode for faster, less deep answers. You don't have to change anything here, okay? So don't worry about it. Just leave it at ChatGPT 5.1 and auto. So step one, let's dive in, is to build your AI second brain. And what I mean by that is we want AI to truly understand you. What is it that you do? What is it you care about? What's your brand voice? Where are your customers? What pain points do you help them with? What are your current business challenges? What are your productivity challenges? What is important to you and what are your values? We want to invest time teaching AI all of these things that are truly important to you so that it can truly serve effectively as your AI thought partner and as your AI sparring partner. And here's the prompt we're going to use. I want you to understand me. I'm a role. So you're going to fill this in with role at your business. So fill this in with your business. And you're going to tell ChatGPT to ask you a series of questions so that it can better understand your business goals, customers, and challenges. I'm a founder at Blotato. Okay. And make sure you're starting a fresh new chat here. Hit enter. And now ChatGPT is going to ask you a bunch of questions. And all you have to do is answer these to the best of your ability. First of all, you can dictate your answer instead of typing it out. I truly suggest setting aside 30 minutes to one hour and answering each question to the best of your ability. But for the purposes of this demo video, I'm just going to kind of scan some of these questions and dictate my answers to them. So here, click dictate, and then you can start talking. And it's going to basically work record what you're saying. I'm founder and CEO of Blotato. It's an all-in-one content creation tool for brands, marketers, solopreneurs, and influencers. And my personal motivation is helping thought leaders and educators like myself be able to reach more audiences and teach more audiences. My long-term vision that guides every decision is I'm a thought leader and educator myself. My mission is to teach 10 million people AI for free, and I'm building Blotato in such a way that helps me truly scale without losing my authentic voice. Uh, what is the most valuable feature in Blotato? It's probably being able to remix and repurpose your existing high-quality original content 
content into multiple different formats. For example, taking a LinkedIn post and remixing it into Carousel for Instagram. Um, what are your market positions? So some of my competitors are tools like Buffer and Sprout Social. Your users, what problems make them search for Blotato today? One of the strengths of Blotato is the API for social media publishing. You can also use the API to create faceless videos with AI and also create carousels and other types of professional types of videos for social media. Um, what tasks drain me the most? I do spend quite a bit of time on customer support, even though I have an AI support bot. It's hard for me to like truly trust it 100%. So I still spend a lot of time QAing and reviewing my customer support agents. Uh, what products or verticals do you want to expand into? I definitely want to better serve agencies, so digital marketing agencies and social media marketing agencies. Um, but I haven't really cracked that yet because I'm lacking a lot of agency friendly features such as inviting a team, being able to manage client sub accounts, being able to authenticate their social media accounts super easily. Okay, and then click the check mark when you're done. So now ChatGPT is going to analyze everything that you just said and use that as the answer. But again, this was just a quick demo. I highly recommend setting aside 30, 45 minutes to sit down and answer each of these questions. Okay, after answering its initial set of questions, ChatGPT wants me to go even further and answer more direct questions, more specific questions, which is great. Again, highly recommend taking the time out of your day to actually write all of this out because the more ChatGPT knows about you, the better. Now, assume you've answered all of ChatGPT's follow-up questions. The next part of our process is activating our AI sparring partner. We're going to say, based on everything you know about me, become my sparring partner. So when I present an idea, your first response should include three to five questions I haven't thought about, counter arguments, blind spots, or risks. Okay, go ahead and press enter. And then ChatGPT should confirm that it does this. And then ChatGPT will say, understood, here's exactly how I will respond. This prompt essentially programs ChatGPT to challenge your thinking, which I found to be much more helpful than ChatGPT just agreeing with everything I'm saying. Because in many cases, I don't even know what the right questions to ask are. And so I find this paradigm of working and collaborating with AI much more powerful than what 99% of people do, which is type a very simple prompt, take the answer from ChatGPT, it's surface value and not really deep dig in further. So let me show you exactly how this works. So let's say you go to ChatGPT now with an idea like, I want to start a social media scheduling app. The old ChatGPT would glaze you. It would say, great idea. Here's a launch plan and a marketing plan, which is nice. I mean, it's surface level, but it's not very deep. So now let's press enter and see what ChatGPT says instead. Now that we've activated our AI sparring partner, you can see that it's raising questions that will actually challenge you. Like very legitimate questions. Like why would someone switch from tools like buffer that they already trust for scheduling when those tools are mature and <laughs> deeply integrated. So that's a very fair question. Um, what specific scheduling problem do you solve that buffer does not solve today? How will you acquire users in a category with high competition and low switching intent? What is your wedge? How will you avoid becoming a feature instead of a business since scheduling is a commodity in 2025? Ouch. So I personally love this. So my favorite way to interact with AI is to constantly argue and debate and go deeper and have it ask me questions and I ask questions back. It's ultimately what makes me sharper, makes me smarter and makes me just go more deep into topics by embracing AI as my sparring partner. So now just to continue the experiment and just see how much better the answers are, let's say, assume I've addressed all the questions above, now help me with my idea. So here's how to strengthen your idea and turn it into something defensible. Define the wedge, build a scheduling layer that is invisible, make your scheduling engine opinionated, support faceless creators, the single workflow tool, uh, make agencies love you, et cetera, et cetera. And I can tell you as somebody in this space right now where I think about these problems all day long, this quality of an answer is so much better than if we just started a blank chat GPT. And just to compare it side by side, I opened a brand new chat GPT in incognito mode. So I'm not logged in here. I'm just using the free tier. It has no context or history about anything I've said. I'm going to type in the same prompt. I want to start a schedule, social media scheduling app, help me with my idea. And here's its response. It's kind of just like a generic business plan if you want to start a social media scheduling app. So clarifying the concept, strong differentiator, core features, recommended tech stack, social platforms, uh, monetization ideas, go to market strategy. And the key point here is it's not 
terrible, but it's just very generic and surface level. Whereas the answer I previously got after giving it all of my business context was much more tailored, much more personalized, and also challenged me a lot more to think about like whether this idea even makes sense. Based on this, you'd, you'd say, oh yeah, this seems like a great idea, right? Like you should just absolutely do this, but it's not really surfacing what the risks are and how hard this actually would be to stand out in a very competitive market. And so this is what 99% of people do when they use ChatGPT. They're like, here, I have an idea, help me with it. And they get a very generic surface level answer. So to be in that top 1% of AI users, you want to do what we just did. Number one, build your AI second brain by sitting there answering all of these questions about what's important to you, your business and your customers that teaches AI how to think like you and what's important to you and what your goals are. And then step two is activating your AI sparring partner to help challenge your thinking, to help you raise questions you didn't even think to think about. That is the next level of interaction with AI. That is what the top 1% of people using AI are doing today. Now we've wrapped up step one and step two. Now what we're gonna do is make this permanent. And you have two options here. I'm gonna show you both of them. One of them is creating a chat GPT project. And the second option is to build a custom GPT. Let's start with a chat GPT project. So head over to chat GPT. Okay, on the left sidebar, there's a section here called projects. And what's really neat about projects is you can have one piece of content context and it applies to multiple chats and you can even move previous chats into your project to help add additional context. So I love projects because they help you keep everything organized. They give you a clean workspace that remembers your context, your second brain, and it'll save the entire conversation that we just had. So this is going to save you easily five to 10 hours every single week because you never have to re-explain your business or retrain your AI second brain in each conversation. All your context is always there in that project. And I believe now projects are shareable. So you can even share projects with your team or with your friends. Okay. So in chat GPT on the left sidebar, click new project. We're going to call this our AI sparring partner. Okay. Click create project. So now we see the new project listed here and let's go to the previous chat where we had all of this context. So this was here it was automatically named okay and we're going to move it to the new project we just created so click these three buttons move to project ai sparring partner so now if you click ai sparring partner you'll see the chat that we just had and if i ask it what is my business okay it's going to reference context from that conversation we had earlier okay so your business is ai powered content company so let's try it again in this new chat to Add a feature to Blotato to instantly generate Instagram carousels. So I've actually already added this feature to Blotato, but let's see what AI says. So again, it's using that context as our AI sparring partner, and it's asking me all of these questions. Do you, oh wow, this is a great question. Do users want fast carousels or carousels that match their voice and brand style every time? Um, will this turn into another generic output feature or will you anchor it to your distribution advantage? How will you handle layout rules? I mean, this is a huge, huge one. Um, it is not trivial to automatically generate good looking Instagram carousels. But recap what we just did, we created a new chat GPT project. We added the original conversation we had. We added it all into this project. And then we started a new conversation in the same project. And you can see that chat GPT is taking on the role of our AI sparring partner. And so it's going to do this for every conversation that you now create in this project, which is terrific. And some other options here for your project, you can click share in the top right corner and you can actually make this project public okay anyone with a link or you can invite specific people on your team to access this project which is great so you can load up a project with all of the information about your business and then give it to everybody in your team to be able to access it you can further personalize this project by clicking here in the top right corner three buttons click add instructions okay and here you can say things like respond in span in or keep answers short and focused one thing that's nice if you're um, um, using AI heavily to figure out different decisions is to output a pros and cons table when deciding among different options. Things like that, you can put it here in your custom instructions. Now, the last step is to build a custom GPT, which is slightly different from a chat GPT project. Okay, so let's go back to chat GPT. You can see your GPTs in the left sidebar. I'm actually going to open another tab so that we can go back and forth between the initial conversation we had and the custom GPT we're going to create. So open a second tab tab. 
Okay, then click Explore GPTs. Click Create in the top right corner. So this is where we're going to create a GPT. I'm going to click Configure so I can just do everything directly. So I'm going to name the GPT my AI sparring partner. Description, challenge me to be better. And for the instruction here, we're going to paste the sparring partner prompt based on everything you know about me, become my AI sparring partner, etc. And what you're also going to do is copy and paste the information that you gave ChatGPT. So remember when it asked you a bunch of questions, questions and then you replied. In my case, I just kind of replied with voice, this long block of text. I'm going to copy paste this directly into here and say, here's my context. Boom. Now, as you further refine this GPT, you'll probably want to upload like additional knowledge files here instead of trying to fit everything within the instruction. But for those of you who are brand new to creating a GPT, just starts by pasting stuff here in the instruction. In the future, you can always upload additional files here that your custom GPT can reference. So you can upload things like case studies with your customers, information about your product, past support chats, emails, etc. On the right hand side, you can ask your chat GPT anything. So let's present it with that same idea just to test that it works because what it should do is respond with the three to five questions I haven't thought about. Okay, so boom, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, perfect. So it responded with angles I may not have considered as well as a few risks to watch, which is great. So this looks good. You can also add like a logo or image here for your custom GPT. Go ahead and click create in the top right corner. You can publish it so that anyone with a link can use it. So you can use this link to share with your team or share with clients. You can make it private only to you. This is probably what I'll do for me, especially if you're sharing sensitive business information you don't want other people to know, or you can publish it publicly in the GPT store. This means anyone in the world can access your GPT. So in my case, since this is my second brain, then there's going to be a lot of like confidential sensitive information that I'm sharing with ChatGPT. I only want it accessible to me. So I'm going to select only me, then hit save. Okay, awesome. And here it is the link to your GPT. You can click view GPT to check it out. Okay. And in the top left corner, you can confirm that it's your GPT because it should be titled AI sparring partner. So now instead of having to create like new chats in this project, you can just open up your AI sparring partner. It's already loaded with information about you and you can ask anything here. And the beautiful thing about creating a project or a custom GPT is you don't have to waste time explaining your context again and again every time you start a new chat GPT conversation. Honestly, today, nine 99% of people waste hours getting generic advice from ChatGPT, making expensive mistakes, and constantly re-explaining your business and context to AI. After this tutorial, now you can have five-minute, ten-minute strategy sessions with your AI sparring partner that prevents expensive errors, that help you think more deeply about your strategic decisions with a thought partner that truly knows your business inside out. If you like this video and want more like this, hit like, hit subscribe, and drop a comment below.